but we will get you there. is yielding results. Shield Maiden. Use this. Adaptability is at the heart of surviving in the ever-changing winds of Valhalla. I'd like to tell you a story that I think will help you along your path. I am listening. Early in my life, before I was a Valkyrie, I was a healer in a small village. My father trained me in the use of herbs and natural remedies. To him, coming from a long line of herbal healers. That was the only true medicine. But visiting the city, I saw healers who used magic, only magic, to treat their patients. I'd seen it work, and work wonders. I tried to tell my father, but he said mage healing was against his philosophy, a dangerous shortcut that violated tradition. Being a good daughter, I respected his convictions. But that all changed when he took ill. That's a good place to stop for now. When you're further along on your journey, I'll share the next part of my story. Mm. We did more things and more things to do. Check. Do you feel more complete than when you started? Chance to bargain with Valhalla itself. We're all impressed by your progress, General. We've never seen anyone engage Valhalla quite the way you have. Zegrun. How fares your journey? We have uncovered our host. It is Tyr. Tyr, you say? Aye. And no projection, either. I never knew his connection to Valhalla was so strong. But then, he goes back further than I do. back inside. It seems Valhalla has arranged something special for you in the throne room. See you again soon, Kratos. Yeah! <laughs> 
Remember this, Kratos. The memory is vivid. A familiar scene to any that know your legend. The man at the crossroads of a fateful decision. Aye, you've spoken of this, brother. The pact you made with Ares. To stave off the barbarian war. The day I sold my soul to a god of war. Why show me this? Well, if I had to guess, probably to make you feel like the piece of shit you are. Is he necessary? He's no part of my design. He's either Valhalla's or yours. <laughs> At least he hasn't replaced me again. Not yet, anyway. Seems a real charmer. A memory fragment of your time in Alfheim, then. Tell me, who was Kratos of Sparta the day you made your pledge to Ares? I was the youngest captain in the Spartan army. I had gained a reputation for my skills in combat, my command of the battlefield, but also my aggression. I was determined to never lose, and until then, never had. My men were loyal, fiercely so. How many Spartans did you command? Not enough that day. How many barbarians did you face? Thousands. Choice may hurt a little. Side, brother. Got it. Dear, why help prepare me to take your old position? Why not fulfill it yourself? You seem capable. To the mortals of these realms, I am an ancient myth, long out of mind. The days I could hope to unify these realms are long past. But they see you as the hero of Ragnarok. You are known and respected. And from what I have seen, you're the most qualified to fall. You need only be ready. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, this is an unusual little corner of Valhalla, isn't it? Let's see what else we can find in here. I think we're meant to choose one chest or the other. Shall we have a look? Seems Valhalla won't let you that way unless you strike a bargain. Yeah! 
Valhalla's button is satisfied. What a thrill. I must say, it's genuinely hard to think of anything stupider than pledging your soul to Ares of all people. I mean, any of Zeus's brood are bound to be garbage, present company by no means excluded. But Ares made a real art out of being vicious and depraved. Though, I suppose I can't begrudge you your role model. I see you still use the blade. <laughs> Can you really say you regret a decision? and still keep benefiting from the trappings of that decision? I'm not sure what I'm just asking. You ever try to do the math on how many people died as a result of your little collaboration? Like contemplating the grains of sand on a beach, isn't it? Just overwhelming, honestly. <laughs> Someone left you a party favor. Oh, and it's a symbolic totem of your shame. That's so thoughtful. Ah, now you've done it. You're being judged. And we all know your past actions wouldn't pass muster with anybody. I meant to ask, how did you like setting yourself on fire? Truly entertaining stuff. Sorry to miss how it ended up. I think maybe you still have some ash on your skin. Am I crazy? Oh, don't hurry up and make a decision on my account.
Tyron? Cover my ears! Kratos! Break the tether, quickly! Why are you using that weapon? Are you confused? Kill a monster, I Incoming back here! 
Finally, get on back to the start and ascend or whatever it is. Kratos, I've been awaiting your return. I brought something else to keep things interesting. You're not the only one with weapons from far off lands, you know. Ready? Be ready! Focus, Kratos! Having fun yet? On your guard! Defend yourself. Those who have fallen, carry me. Look out! He is using them to heal! Why did you do it, Kratos? Why did you pledge yourself to Ares? I was ambitious. Proud! I could not accept defeat. I crave power. Is that all? Are you sure? Nothing more to that story? Nothing else under the surface? On your right! Such fury, such control! Arms up! What good's a shield if you're not gonna use it? Well, 
Well, I didn't catch you sleeping. I yield, Kratos. Very well. I believe you found an understanding within yourself. Shall we see? Pools. It's not only memories. Indeed. For what is a memory apart from our perspective on it? You know the evils that came of your path. You know the evils within yourself. Yes, these you dwell on. But it's not that simple, is it? The Horde is vast, brother. What would have happened if you didn't stop it? Our lands would have been overrun. Our people killed, violated. People your army was sworn to protect. An army led by you. Did you not feel a duty to fulfill your purpose? Did you not fear for the safety of your homeland? You saved them. You would excuse my actions? Excusing them is not the exercise, Kratos. Only accepting them. Accepting that you acted based on what you knew then, not on what was to come. Your motivation and their consequences are far more complicated than you let yourself believe. Hmm. I think perhaps you have more to process. Yes. I have much to think about. I will return. And I will be waiting. Your friend you sent the invitation in the first place? Yes. His voice echoes in the halls. There's no mistaking it. So it's Tyr's game you're playing? This is all his idea? A game is not his purpose. There is something here I must see through. And what is that exactly? A process. <sighs> all right. If it's helping, I trust you both. We all do. As we trust in Valhalla. Even after what it did to you? I knew the rules and chose to break them. I regret nothing. A master sees every setback as a catalyst for progress. Don't lose heart. I see you made it count in there. Guna. Please, accept this. You were truly meant for Valhalla. I hear you like stories. I got one for you. I am listening. I wasn't born with the privilege of some of my sisters in arms. I wasn't bred for greatness. I was just the daughter of some poor innkeeper. Matter of fact, I wasn't even his. He just raised me after somebody left me there. I didn't have much going for me, but I had one thing. I wasn't afraid of anyone. 
If somebody was asking for a punch in the face, I never thought twice. Brought a heap of trouble on myself that way, it's true. But I sure learned how to fight. Enough for now. I'll pick that up later. <clears throat> Bargain away, brother. Well, I expects it. And if it's good to last. Memory of your past made manifest. Hmm. A dangerous memory. 